Welcome to White Waltham Airfield near London. This is said to be the largest grass aerodrome in the UK. The expansive field and historic buildings make for a timeless flying experience, as you'll soon discover. And the Piper Cub is the quintessential general aviation aircraft. I always tell my students, flying a Cub is real flying. Pilots have been learning to fly in Cubs at White Waltham since before the Second World War. And that's what we'll be going up in today. This fantastic Cub has been prepared and fueled for our flight. Why don't you hop in? Let's get the engine started. First, I'll turn on the battery. Now, there are only two bits of information you'll need from the instruments during this lesson. Airspeed, or how fast we're going, and altitude, how high we are. Airspeed is displayed on the top left gauge. That's the most important instrument you'll use today, so get familiar with it. In this cub, the airspeed is shown in miles per hour. Altitude is displayed on the instrument just below the airspeed. It's reading near zero since we're sitting on the ground. All right, let's start the engine and go flying. Here we go. Clear prop. Can you hear me okay? We can communicate over the intercom as long as you have your headphones on. That's better. I've got mine turned up as you're a little quiet. First, let's check the controls and I'll explain their effects. Push the stick left, then right. Good. This will roll the aircraft in the direction you turn. It's simple stuff and will all make sense once you try it out in flight. Next, gently push the stick forward and then gently pull it back. This will pitch the nose of the aircraft down and up. When you want to climb, raise the nose towards the sky by pulling the stick back. When you want to descend, lower the nose by pushing the stick forward. And finally, the rudder pedals. Pressing these moves the rudder to twist or yaw the aircraft left and right. It's the hardest control to understand, but you'll figure it out. To begin with, you'll probably only use the rudder pedals when we're on the ground. Pushing the rudder pedals will also move the tailwheel, and that's how you steer on the ground. The left rudder will turn us left, right rudder will turn us to the right. Since there's no control tower here at White Waltham, we just broadcast our intentions over the traffic frequency. That way any other aircraft nearby will hear us, know where we are, and where we're going. White Waltham Radio, Piper Golf Delta Lima, taxiing from Waltham Flying Club to runway 07. Okay, we're looking good. I'll taxi us up to the runway. We'll perform a normal takeoff and climb to 1,000 feet. I know this is all new to you, so I'll talk you through it. Now let's test the engine by performing a run-up. We always do this to reveal any problems before we leave the ground. I'll hold the brakes to stop us from moving. Gently move the throttle control all the way forward. Gently move the throttle control all the way forward. Good. Now pull the throttle control back out. Good stuff. Now we can taxi onto the runway and line up for takeoff. White Waltham Radio, Piper Golf Delta Lima, lining up runway 07. When you're ready, add a little power to start rolling. Turn right onto the runway and line up so the nose is pointed straight down the white dashed center line. Use a little right rudder to tuck the nose into the right. Use 
Use the rudder to keep the nose pointed straight down the runway and get ready. Okay, full power. The tail will rise very quickly by itself. Start pulling back on the stick at 40 miles per hour. Fantastic, we're flying. Let the aircraft accelerate to 75 miles per hour. Keep full power for the climb, so control the airspeed by pitching up or down. miles per hour with pitch and keep climbing. Seventy-five miles per hour is the Cub's best rate of climb speed. That means we'll get to altitude as fast as possible flying at seventy-five. Gently push the stick to pitch the nose down and stop the climb. Fly level at one thousand feet. Takeoff and transition to cruise is complete. Well done.